Hi guys, I welcome you back to STV channel. So in today's video, we'll be checking out on how to extract our meshes from a single mesh. So let's assume you have one prop now, and the prop does not have many meshes. So I want to use the separate props in your 3D animation software. So as you can see this bike here, this bike has many meshes, but it's only in one single mesh, which means if I disable this now, everything will be disabled. So, but let's assume I want to make this uh this floor, this plane here, to be extracted. So, what we can do is that select it, then go to modify tab. Under modify tab, click on edit mesh. So once you hit your edit mesh, edit mesh then click on elements. Once you click on elements, then you have to select which faces that you want to extract. So you can select all the faces at once by holding your control button or your keyboard and click on the meshes. So it will select the whole mesh. So once you, once you select the whole mesh, then just click on extract mesh. So since we are since we want to extract this mesh from uh from the single mesh so we want to make it to stand alone so just click on extract mesh then extract mesh will remove all physics data on this object so you click on ok so once you do that it will uh it will be automatically do what separated from this bike mesh so if you go under to your scene now you see that we now have like two objects so if I add this, as you can see, that's been separated. So it has been separated successfully. But the problem is that once you extract this from the from the mesh, so you won't be able to move it or animate it in iClone. So if you want to move this object separately, what you can do is that once you have extract, once you have extract the mesh, then click on the mesh that you extract. Make sure that you click on the mesh that you, you extract, not the uh not the other one, the one that you extract. Click on this. Once you click on, then go to your modify tab, close this, and turn it to convert to sub items. So once you convert to sub items, so you will be able to do what to move it using this gizmo button. So once you click on convert to sub item, so as you can see, it cannot be moved automatically. So you can now move it. As you can see here, you cannot move it. So you can do the same thing with this bike as well. Let us assume if, you select, if I select on this bike and I want to remove this tire or these seats. So if I want to remove these seats, let me zoom in. So I want to make this seat as a single mesh, separate mesh. So what I will do is that I will select the whole bike. As you can see, I select the whole, whole bike. Then go to modify tab, click on this mesh. Once you hit on edit mesh, then go to elements and select the faces. So you can do what? Once you click on the faces, then you can just hit on extra mesh. Hit click OK. So wait for it to load. Once it's finished loading, so if we get back to our scene again, you will see that now we now have another separate mesh. So let me name this as seat so this is our seat as you can see it has been separated from the bike so as you can see again you cannot move this or uh, this object because it has not been converted to sub items in order for you to do so click on it then go to modify tab and hit on convert to sub items so you will now be able to do what to move this one as well so that is how to do what how to extract meshes and how to Convert it to sub items in CC4. So let's assume you want to merge this object to its original uh, origin. So what you have to do is that you make sure that you select on it, then go to scene. Once you select, let's assume I want to merge all these objects to one single mesh again. So select the mesh. So let me put this here. So I want to do what? I want to match this, all the objects that I extracted. 
from this thing. I want to mark this again. So what you have to do is that make sure you click on the uh, on any item that you want to do or that you want to match with the original one that you want to match together. So make sure that you select you select it. Once you select it, then you go to modify tab and hit on match props. So once you hit on match props, it will do what or take all these meshes into one single mesh again. So once I hit on match props, so everything has now turned into one single mesh again. So if I go to my setup, then you see that it is now a single, it is now in one props. So it is now in one props. So it's not separated anymore. So it's not in one props. So that's how to do what? That is how to, that's how to extract um, tons of meshes in a single mesh and how to match props and how to make that props to sub items. So I think this video is very helpful. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and also share with others. Don't forget to like this video as well. So in the next one we meet, we'll be talking about how to smooth your character body, you know? So see you in the next one. Bye for now.